I'm angry. Hey, pop the chunk, yeah. open up a soul, my soul, a good price out of sight. And my whole guy What's up guys? TJ here with another video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. I have a little bit of a rant and I'm going to get through it and I'm going to move forward and we'll move on. So today's rant <laughs> is going to be about a video I released about two years ago, maybe even three years ago, uh, about me being a University of Phoenix alumni. So I went to the University of Phoenix for approximately, I want to say six years. And uh, during that time, uh, I got an associate's degree, I got a bachelor's degree, and I also got a master's degree. And whenever I graduated, I was super happy about graduating. So I made a YouTube video. It's one of the first YouTube videos uh, that I've ever made. And I was just super happy and excited about you know being a alumni and having a you know an actual degree that i can use uh to pursue my career um so fast forward in to now i've got so much hate from that video um i've got so many comments i mean people sending me like five paragraphs uh worth of commentary uh, about this video and so I made a rebuttal video about a year and a half ago just kind of clarifying what that video was what I was what the message was in that video and basically what I said in that video was hey um, I graduated from the University of Phoenix but I'm not like a sponsor for the University of Phoenix or anything I'm not even telling anybody to go to the University of Phoenix the only thing that I'm doing is trying to promote positivity and just talking about chasing your dreams and talking about being motivated to pursue your future, whatever that is. So that's basically my uh, uh, my take on graduating from college. You know, it's not necessarily about what college you went to. Um, it, it's all about what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. So obviously, if you go to college and you know you kind of just breeze through you don't pay attention to anything you don't try to learn things you don't ask questions uh, you don't get involved in the projects that you have to do you're not going to get a lot out of college but if you go in there and you get engaged and you ask questions and you uh, put yourself out there a hundred percent and you know you get really involved in the projects and in different things that you have to do um, and you think about how that's going to relate to your actual life to your actual career uh, to your actual business then you're going to be successful um, so basically that's what I was trying to come across um, to to people to you all whenever I release that video um, but a lot of people are just coming in saying like hey you know basically like I don't have people's best interest at heart you know they're basically saying that I'm trying to tell people to become uh, to go to University of Phoenix waste their money uh, they're not going to get a job uh, they're not going to be able to um, survive after they go to University of Phoenix. They're going to have a bunch of debt and they're not going to be able to find a job. That's going to be with any school. With any school you go to, uh, you may or may not find a job. Just because you have a degree, you can go to Harvard. And, and, and you probably are more likely to get a degree because of people's thinking like how you're thinking. Uh, thinking that just because you go to an Ivy League Ivy League College or just because you go to a university um, that has you know this reputation um, you're better than or you're greater than somebody or you're greater than uh, you know other curricula and just this is just my personal experience and my personal thoughts is that I feel like if you put your all into your schooling if you put your all into everything that you do um, you're going to be successful. Um, so basically the comment that kind of spurred this video uh, was from a lady and she you know sent me this long uh, paragraph about you know how I keep saying that um, basically whatever you put into it is what you're going to get out of it blah 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 blah. And I was like you know if that's all you got out of it you didn't watch the video. What I was saying was was that whenever you go to college that's anybody when anybody goes to any college in my personal opinion when you go to college they expect you to know certain things right 
and what they do is they enhance your knowledge and they give you the tools uh, to be able to be successful in whatever career path that you are aspiring to be in. So me in particular, I went to school for business. So I looked at my education, trying to learn everything that I could about business and about um, you know having employees, about starting a business, about the business law, about different things that has to do with business. But I didn't necessarily pay attention to things that didn't have to do with that. Um, so those things I didn't retain. Um, you know, like when I went through statistics, I didn't necessarily retain everything about statistics because I didn't think that it was going to be something that was going to be applicable to me starting my own business or me getting a job in a business setting. Um, and basically she just kind of went on to say uh, that I shouldn't be giving people a false illusion about um, going to University of Phoenix, blah, blah, blah. But basically my rebuttal, my, my reply to her was that I've never said anything. I'm not a spokesperson for University of Phoenix. What I'm talking about is motivating people, uh, giving them positivity, giving them a, a positive outlook about the future. I came from nothing. I didn't have anything growing up. I mean, I, it's not that I didn't have anything. I didn't have the best of, of things. You know, I just lived a regular life and I've always aspired to be a business owner. Even when I was a kid, I remember opening up a hot dog stand in front of my house. We went, to, I, I called my parents into going to Sam's Club, buying hot dogs and, and hot dog buns and candy and soda. I took my allowance, I saved up for a while and I bought all this stuff and I sold it and I made money and I made profit and I bought more and I sold it. I've always been a business person. I've always been a person that has aspired to be a business owner, a owner of, of a business or multiple businesses. I've always wanted to do that and I still aspire to do that. And, you know, looking at me going to University of Phoenix versus where I'm at right now, had I not gone to college, I would not have gotten the first position um, in the job that I'm working in right now to be where I'm at. I don't believe that I would have. And and that's very genuine. I, I do not believe that I would have be where I'm at right now had I not went to college, whether it be University of Phoenix or any other college. Um, I actually got accepted in the Tennessee State University. I just didn't go to because I didn't want to move out of state. And, um, you know, since I've actually used my degree uh, to get a job, I've made over a million dollars in my salary. And people just just go by other people's experience because maybe they didn't put everything into it. Maybe they had bad teachers. Maybe, you know, there's a multitude of things that could have happened but these schools get bad press because of the personal situations of people but people are more apt to to look at the negative uh than look at the positive and so you know i, I kind of want to end my rant and just saying that on this channel specifically when i make a video it's about motivating people every time i make a video I think about how it could enhance somebody's life, how it could enhance somebody's business, um, how they can use the knowledge that I'm teaching them to, you know, create or to do or to teach somebody else or to bless somebody else. And I always think about that when I'm making my videos. I don't ever think about, um, you know, how I can screw somebody or how how I can just tell somebody this because that's what's going to make me the best, the most money. Um, I'm always thinking about how I can help somebody and just people just always want to focus in on the negative and they should focus in on the positive message um so basically that, that that's all i got <laughs> for my rant today i really don't want to go into too much detail i'm going to say this that video i released like i said almost three years ago and i'm still getting comments on it today and i don't mind replying to any of the comments that come in on that video but when i get negative comments that insinuate that I'm trying to be uh, that I'm uh, disingenuous or that I'm not I'm not genuine with my message um, they're not hearing the message and that bothers me because I always have people's best interests at heart you know I don't think about um, how you know the negative parts of it there was a lot of negative for, from going to University of Phoenix um, you know one of the negatives was that the cost it did cost a lot it cost a lot more 
than going to a traditional college. And I knew that. I made that decision. I made that personal decision. Uh, you know, did I want to pay extra to go to this college or do I want to go to this college to pay less? But then I won't be able to work a full time job because now I got to go to this college full time. I made that decision because that's the decision that I had to make as a grown up. And a lot of people don't think about that. You have to make those decisions. You can't think about uh, or listen to everybody and make those decisions and just automatically say, OK, well, it's somebody else's fault because they told me to do that. No, you made that decision. So people just need to really think about um, when they receive a message, just think about everything that's been said and look at the positives and the negatives. And then we can have a conversation about it. But if it's all negative, um, you know, I'm I'm not going to to go into the negative space. I I like going into the positive space because it's always going to be negative, you know. Um, so that's all going <laughs> to that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys listening to my rant. I hope somebody got something out of this video, um, whether they was on the fence about going to college or whether they, they was on the fence about just starting a business or going into a career and not going to college. Do what's best for you. Do what feels right in your body and your soul. Uh, talk about it with your family, fam family. Talk about it with your friends. Uh, talk about it with your significant other. Um, just do what's right for you and pray about it. You know and you'll always make the right decision and even if, if it's not the right decision um you'll learn from the wrong decision and you will be able to um and be empowered to make the right decision so i challenge you today um to really think about what you want to do and what you want to be and always strive towards that always push towards that goal and never let the negative comments uh, deter you from doing that because there's always going to be negative comments uh, so if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe i really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever i release new videos thanks guys for watching